How are we gonna submit this guy? In no fucking, fucking necks, no arm, nothing. How are you gonna? Yeah, believe me, people find a way. <laughs> <laughs> it's all the time. So RS America, super light. Those are yours. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Fucking Joe Rogan got red. <laughs> 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 Bro, that's the thing now. Just Joe Rogan, get out. And just well, do whatever for me, you want. it's like uh, I do so many podcasts. I need a place where I can work out. I got a sauna. I got a float tank. You're floated. No, no, I've been offered a few times. But yeah, you I gotta just, try it. It's great. It feels but it's, it's just a relaxation thing. Right? Well, it's good for your head. Like yeah. uh, you could sort out techniques and shit in your head. You know, like you're alone and your thoughts in there. You, you, you know, you're familiar with what it is. Yeah, I'll, I'll show I've you. I've heard about it. I'll show it to you. But it's like it's you can badass. you can just leave it out dark in there and just yeah? be in there. You, yeah, have yeah, to be, yeah. you have to be high. No, you don't have to be high. Fucking. Do you have to be high? That's the best question ever. A float tank. Yeah, it's um, the water is filled with uh, a thousand pounds of Epsom salt. Salt, yeah, a thousand pounds. And the water is uh, ninety-four degrees, so it's the same oh, temperature shit. as the surface of your skin. Wow. And when you lie in it, you just float. So half your body will be like underwater, and half your body will be above water. Wait, and then you close it. Close that door. Fuck and... no. Uh, <laughs> you're a fucking. How hilarious is that? Uh, UFC champion, one of the baddest oh motherfuckers on the planet. Like you ain't locked me in there. Fuck that. I want to get there. I I never used to be like this, but something happened. I just fucking my mind is. Nah, it's my, just, it's just like people in the dark. No, <laughs> I was never into. I was never claustrophobic, but something happened a couple years back, and it's just like. Had a little panic attack. I'm gonna say this on camera. Joe Rogan get me in trouble every night because I watch the podcast every night. My wife said, "Jet light off the kids sleeping." It's okay, like, yeah, like if you leave it open, yeah. But I if might you leave, but okay if you leave it that. open, then it won't be dark. Like the whole idea is yeah, that it's well, dark. Yeah, <laughs> you gotta be total silence, total darkness, and you just yeah. I would do all that, but if that door is locked. Do you know how crazy it is that you're I'm scared of the fuck. dark and I'm you're not, scared I'm not, I'm not of me no, locked into that thing? No, Joe, don't make <laughs> I'm not scared of the dark. It's the fact that... You're claustrophobia? That's what I, it don't, I don't know, man. My it's mind pretty big. Is... Like, you're, like uh, my hands can touch both sides like this. I and know. No, it's, it's a lot of room, man, but I just... Float. Yeah. It's great, man. You feel good. Without him, I wouldn't be here, man. He made, he was my first client, and uh, I was I was when I'm done fighting, and he's like, "You're gonna manage me. I'm gonna go to the UFC." And I couldn't speak English back then. My English was fucked up, still fucked up a little bit. And, uh, That's what I was and, and, uh, and, and after that, I, I my first meeting was Lorenzo and then and I don't know who these fucking guys are. Ask it in. And uh, and and I my first deal, and very much he took me to, to me start a career. He can help me out. And, uh, and uh, yeah, he's he's amazing, man. He helps yeah, so many people. Great, great guy. He's one of the runs one of the best schools in the world too. I mean, Khabib is fucking funny. Is oh he? my god, really? fuck, Khabib. It's like funny. now he learned English, no. and then the way that he puts the oh man. He's I so think funny. he's the funniest oh, trash talker. When he's so on Connor's like, let's talk now, and he kept punching him in the face. <laughs> I was like, oh, shit. He he's the worst guy I grapple with, man. He's a fun <laughs> motherfucker. I believe it. Is how you how do you go back because then you you see like the infamous video of Connor mm -hmm. goes only business and he's yeah. walking out like yeah I could yeah. why would you say that like, well, what's going on because that's what he does he yeah. talks a lot of shit and... you know it's two brothers wrestling it was like hey two brothers what's up man when you going to school next year it's like I'm be Iowa I was like yo me too and so we kept in touch and I went up to hang out with him and during that week I was a fight on Someone like a friend of the team, something like that, invited us to come to his house and watch it. And we went over there to watch the fights. I had never really heard of it. I never really cared. I was just a freshman, just trying to hang out with John and party. Who was this around? This was two thousand and five. Yeah, two thousand and five. So it was like first season of the Ultimate Fighter. Yeah, two thousand and five. So we go. I think it might have been Randy Couture or someone. John just reminded me, but I forgot who was fighting. And we went to the house party and watched it. I really didn't really remember the fight. I, Cause I didn't really care. I never paid attention to it. And Everybody know I, I love Osman. Like we've been so much together. We fought in the street together. Right? Well, you know, we got a lot of, a lot of things. He's uh, one of my, from my best friend, you know? But uh, one of the things he fucked up today, he got them ugly ass glasses on, on the Joe Rogan show. Uh, that glass gotta go, buddy. How so real it is it to be in here, bro? This is crazy. I, I literally can't sit down. I just want to keep walking around and I want to play with everything. It's wild. I want to play with the hunting stuff and I don't even know how to. I don't know the first thing about hunting. 
I don't want to try it. You know, much respect. Kane can, could can come back and be a savage and still run through guys for in sure. the next year or two. For sure. You never know. So, I mean, if he gets know, his knee fixed, I don't know what the extent of that that injury was, but yeah, I, I'm you know I'm hopeful and uh, optimistic that he's gonna be back soon. You know, but there's a, I feel like there's a time for everybody, and if Kane doesn't fight it like that, can you imagine Kane fighting any other way? A point fighting, or... point fighting. Oh, no, uh, let me. You can't. No, you can't. No, I, no, I have a lot of champions. Like I work with a lot of guys, but. A, a he just uh, yeah, come Hager. from Africa and just, just a lot of stuff happened with his family, with his dad, and and, and uh, overcome racism in college, you know. Uh, and he kept going, he had a chip on his shoulder, and I love it. And he embraced it, and he's not changing. He's the same guy, and just uh, that show, you know. If you have a dream. In this amazing country, the United States of America, you can achieve it. You, know, you can achieve it. You work hard, you will get whatever you want. You're a bad motherfucker tomorrow. My man, Joe, man. <laughs> thanks for doing this, man. Thank you. It's a and pleasure. Thanks for telling people your story and inspiring people. And I wish you nothing but the best. Thank you, man. Thank you, I brother. appreciate it. She can bench 205? Really? Joe, oh, I see how he does this shit, man. That's crazy. Get people in. You don't even feel. You don't even know the time. You're just in there having, it's like having a conversation with your boy. And all of a sudden, it's two hours. That's what it felt like. It was amazing.